Hey friends, welcome to Filled to Overflowing. Over the last little while, I've been looking at things in my pantry that I would normally buy from the supermarket and thinking about how I could make them myself because we've got so used to going to those supermarket shelves and picking up things that we use every day and not even thinking about how they're made. So one of those things is condensed milk and I discovered that it is really easy. So I've had a few questions from people recently about just how you do that. So I thought today I would show you how I do it because I don't buy condensed milk from the supermarket anymore. I make it myself. Okay, so at its most basic level, condensed milk is just milk and sugar combined. Now I do add a little bit of butter to make it a little bit more creamy and some vanilla for flavoring because let's face it, who doesn't love vanilla? Okay, so I'm at my stove here and I've got my milk and my sugar. So I'm just going to turn the oven on, the stove on, and we're going to heat it up. Now we use two cups of milk and I have, luckily, it's actually two cups left here in my milk bottle, I think, it looks like. All right. So you're going to add the milk to the pot on the stove and then we're going to add in three quarters of a cup of sugar. Now we let that cook down for about half an hour. So you're going to want to give it continuous stirring. And as I said, it's going to take about half an hour for that to condense down. And once it does, that's the basics of your condensed milk. So I'll see you back here in half an hour uh, and we'll add our butter and vanilla. Okay, so I'm back over here. We're back now. It's been half an hour. Uh, the sugar and milk on the stove has been boiling away and condensing down. So we're looking for it to be about half as much as what it was to start with and we're about there now so what i'm going to add in now just while it's hot i've just turned the stove off while it's still hot i'm going to add in 50 grams of butter and that's just going to melt into there and about a teaspoon of vanilla now i love my vanilla so i don't really measure my vanilla i just guess because we can always do with more vanilla. And we're just going to mix that in. The butter has melted. We are good to go. So just keep stirring it until it melts in there. You now have a thick and creamy condensed milk. That will make about a cup. So this is the jar that I keep mine in and I just give it a little bit of a shake before I go to use it again. Um, it will make about a cup. So if you're wanting to make the same amount as you would buy in a pre-prepared tin at the supermarket, you probably need to make two of these. So double that amount. So this was two cups of milk and three quarters of a cup of sugar. So you would need to double that um, if you wanted to get the same amount as in the tin at the supermarket. But that is homemade condensed milk. From now, I can let it cool on the stove and then I will put it in another jar and that will go in the fridge and it will sit there until I need to use it. Um, and I just use as much as I need and then when I run out, I make some more. So there you go, homemade condensed milk. Uh, really easy, and I hope that you take this and you use it in your homes as well.